This is the obligatory why I use Linux video. I feel like everybody who gets on here and talks about Linux has to do one of these at some point, and so I figure now is a great time to do so. Firstly, listen, listen, I wanna thank everybody for their support on the last video I put out. That was insane, that was crazy. I have, listen, I have no idea what happened there, but suddenly I have a lot more eyeballs on this channel than I thought I would get. And thank you all for your feedback and support. It was in incredible. I'm still pretty new to this stuff, uh, so all the feedback I received is is very helpful and I, I very much appreciate it. It's a little intimidating to be honest, but look, we're gonna keep it chill, we're gonna keep it real, and we're just gonna have fun with it because at the end of the day, that's what we're all here to do. So gather around for a fireside chat or beachside if you prefer, because uh, we're gonna be jumping into some CS surf while I talk about why I use Linux. We're gonna start with a question. I got a question for you. If you went and asked the average Linux user why they use Linux, what do you think they would say? From my experience, the vast majority of the time, the, the reason that the average user uses Linux is actually a multitude of reasons. When you ask them that question, what they do is instead of telling you why they use Linux, they tell you why they don't use Windows. They'll rattle off for a little bit about why they don't like Windows, what Windows is doing wrong, that they that Windows is putting ads in their start menu, blah, 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 blah. You know, it's installing Candy Crush. They'll rattle on about all of the things that Windows is doing wrong uh, and as, as their reason that they use Linux. And that's fine, right? That's the reason why I switched to Linux was because of all the things that I didn't like about Windows, okay? But the thing is, if you go and ask that person a couple months later, you know, why are you using Linux? and they give the same response, they rattle off about all the things that they hate about Windows. I think there's a problem with that because it focuses more on what Windows is doing wrong versus what Linux is doing right. Uh, and and if, you, if you say that to somebody, there are so many times where somebody has come and asked me, hey man, why do you use Linux? Why can't you just come and use Windows like the rest of us? And I have gone and rattled off about all the things that I hate about Windows. I've told them it's slow. I've told them it's buggy. I've told them I don't want ads for OneDrive. I've told them all of these things. Yet, 50% of the time, they agree with me. And 50% of the time, they take it as a personal attack, right? Because they're thinking, I use Windows, and you're saying that the thing that I use is horrible. So therefore, you must be personally attacking me when that's not the case. And so you get into this big argument about how no, Windows is actually fine. With Linux, you're an idiot for using Linux. Why would you ever use Linux? Just come and use Windows. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And you go on for such a long time. And it took me a while, but I finally figured out what keeps bringing me back to Linux. And so the fact of the matter is, when somebody asks me that question, my answer is now incredibly simple. And this is why I titled the video like I did, because the answer is not what you think. The reason why I keep coming back to Linux, the reason why I'm a Linux guy through and through, apart from BSD on the server, is because it's more fun. That's it. When I use Linux, using my computer, when I, when I sit down to get on my computer, I actually have fun using the computer. Using the computer is an enjoyable experience for me. And to be honest, I kind of feel a bit bad. Uh, like I, I look at some of the, what the average computer user is doing with their computers and it's it's kind of sad honestly like the stuff that they have to put up with uh from from their operating system or the stuff that they don't really know how to do and that the workarounds they're using uh to to get their stuff done anyway it really kind of makes me feel sad because i'm over here having this grand old time using this operating system using the software experience that i crafted myself and they're just not enjoying using a computer and that's that's really sad for me because i'm very passionate about computers and technology. I want people to enjoy the stuff that I enjoy, right? That's one of the reasons why I like making these videos on YouTube because I wanna share the passion with all of you guys and I want you to have as much fun with this stuff as I do. So so yeah, it kind of makes me sad, kind of makes me a little sad, but that's why. And, and that whole thing avoids arguments completely. You just say, I just have more fun using it and you can leave it at that. And some people don't really care about having fun with their computer, and that's fine too. Some people just wanna sign on, uh, get their work done and call it a day, and that's totally fine. But personally, these, we're talking about personal reasons here, you know, this is, uh, this is gonna change from person to person. And personally, my reason is that it's more fun. When I 
look at uh there's a there's a great blog i use kde plasma there's a great blog by nate graham he's one of the kde developers he's fantastic he makes a, a blog called this week in kde where he goes over all of the new things coming to plasma in some of the upcoming releases and it is so much fun because i think every time i look at that i think wow the stuff that they're adding is going to make my experience more enjoyable and that is so so powerful I guess you could you could draw the similarity to like the Windows Insider program or something like that, but you have to admit when you talk to a Windows user about updates, it's usually not really seen as such a good thing. It's usually seen as something kind of a hassle uh, rather than rather than fun. But when I you know when I look at Nate Graham's blog, I just think, wow, these guys are going to make my experience a lot more fun in the next coming updates, and it gets me excited. It gets me excited. When you think about Linux, really what it does is it lets you craft your software experience. And that's why you can make it so enjoyable for yourself. Now, I want to switch gears for a second here and uh, ask you another question. And the question is, how many of you have built a computer before? Hands up. Hands up in the class. Class is in session. How many of you have built a computer before? If you have, that's fantastic. I'm happy for you. It's it's a, it's a lot of fun to do. Uh, it's good for your skills. And it's, yeah, you learn a whole bunch. And if not, that's totally fine too. It's totally fine too. The reason I bring this up is because Linux lets you craft your software experience and building a PC helps you craft your hardware experience. If you think about it, they're actually quite similar. They're kind of like the uh, the yin and yang, you know? You can, you can craft your hardware experience uh, with building a computer. You know, you can make it as big or as small as you want. You can make it as powerful or slow as you want. You can make it as cool, as quiet, or as loud as you want. You can craft your hardware experience. And on Linux, you can craft your software experience. And you've got people that are interested in one or the other. And some people are Tai Chi masters and they're interested in both. So this is why I draw the, the, the comparison because I want to talk about this for a minute. If you go to like... PC master race on Reddit. These are the, the, the primary subreddit of the dudes that build computers. And I've been building computers since I was like 12 or whatever. I've been, I've been on that subreddit a little bit. But you go on the subreddit and listen to these guys talk about computers. If you bring up Linux on that subreddit, from what I've seen, it's a 50-50 chance, a lot of 50-50s with this, uh, that you either get supported or absolutely flamed. Absolutely flamed. You bring up Linux on that, and uh, yeah, like if you go to any of the posts, even the ones that are like pretty high in upvote count, you'll have like a 50-50 in the comments of people flaming you for using Linux. And I think that's really sad because what that shows to me is that those people who are doing that, who've built PCs that flame people for using Linux or still question why somebody would want to use Linux, they don't actually understand what they're talking about because it shows that they can't take their interest and sort of like extrapolate it to another area right because just like on windows where you and and what i don't understand is why you wouldn't at least have mutual respect for somebody on the op in the opposite domain right why would someone who's built a pc gone through the pain of learning all the components picking them out putting them together doing performance tuning doing all that stuff why would you not have mutual respect for somebody who's done the same thing but with their operating system and software instead and that's why i think if you've built your computer yourself and you're running linux on it dude you're having a good time you're having a good time and uh that's that's where i'm at at the moment i'm having a, i'm having a real good time but yeah like the you could you could apply the same arguments for why people don't build pcs to to not use linux you could make the argument that you've got to learn a whole bunch to use Linux. That's true. You've got to learn a whole bunch to build a PC too. You've got to choose parts. You've got to look at compatibility. You know, you've got to learn how to put it all together. It could break on you at any point. The desktop PC could break at you on any point that you build and you are responsible for fixing it. Uh, there's no, like, you know, if your PC has a problem, you've got to troubleshoot it. You've got to replace the part. You can't go to Dell or HP or whatever. And the same thing on Linux. You craft your software experience if your software breaks, you gotta fix it. It's literally the same thing. And that's, yeah, that's why I don't understand these people who don't understand why anyone would want to use Linux on those PC, on the PC building subreddits, right? It's fair enough if you don't really, if you're not really interested in one or the other, but 
at least have that mutual respect that somebody is doing the same thing that you're doing, just in the software realm and not the hardware realm. So yeah, that's kind of like uh, the reasons why I use Linux. It's, it's more fun. I have more fun using my computer. I, I want to craft my experience in both software and hardware so that I have the most fun when I use my computer. And trust me, I'm having a lot of fun. And uh, I hope that if you are interested in the same things that I am, I hope you're having a lot of fun too. That's really it for me in this one. Uh, I got some cool stuff cooking in the kitchen. Uh, so stick around if you're interested in that. But uh, yeah, otherwise, catch you around.